Hello everyone, hope that you are doing well today. I would also like to thank all of my new subscribers to my channel and I would love to greet my brothers and sisters in Messiah or Jesus Christ. And I start off my videos with this introduction every time because it is very important that people know about the events that are going to come up on the earth. There is going to be a World War Three. okay? I'm letting you know that. The elites and the people, spiritual wickedness in high places, these people who work in these areas, they know that the World War Three is going to happen. This has to happen in order for there to be a one world government. Okay, and not only that, food shortages and famine is going to happen. And they are going to blame it upon the climate change and all these other things. But this is judgment that is coming that is coming upon the earth. Um, because these nations have been established wrongfully and have enslaved the true children of Israel. Okay? And with that being said, the Lord, the Most High, is going to regather his children. He's going to seal and regather his children. Okay? You can look this up in Revelation 7 and Revelation 12, I believe. The woman is the, the children of Israel. Ahiah prophesied this to Satan, the serpent, in Genesis. In the, so I really, really need you all to understand that we have been deceived by religion and religion and religion and denominations and doctrines okay but the word itself has not been interpret interpreted in spirit and in truth so that is why this is there's so much confusion the devil is the author of confusion not ahia ahia did not divorce israel but he is coming back for a bride without a spot wrinkle or blemish okay and those who also the gentiles who are grafted in who accept Jesus Christ or Messiah by faith will also be combined in Israel. Okay, this this is prophecy. Okay, and that's the true gospel. That is the true gospel. Messiah died for us all. Every single one of us are required to be born again, but we also have to. Um, understand that he's coming back for the the nation, the children of Israel that he made an everlasting covenant with. Okay? And those who believe in Messiah by faith also have a covenant um, to God through Abraham. Okay? So this is very, very important to understand because if you can't understand that, you're not going to understand why these things are going to happen up on the earth, okay? Um, there, there is going to be a lot of events that break down the nations and the governments of the nations in order to issue a one world government. And when it comes down to it, it's going to be the people of the world, Satan's people, and there's going to be a highest people. That's what it's going to come down to. Okay, so this is in a message of hate. I know there are a lot of people who are saying similar things that, you know, the true children of Israel are still being enslaved, are black people um, and people scattered all over the world. Um, I know that they have that same content, but there are a lot of they have a doctrine that is not of a high that is not spiritual that is not um yeah that is that is not biblical and it lacks the spirit and the truth and the love of a um so i am not a ambassador of those people i am ambassador of my lord and my savior which is josiah Okay, so the devil deceived the whole world. So we have to understand what the Bible truly meant when it said that the devil deceived the whole world. Okay, so the things that I'm speaking to you about, please pray about it. Seek the most high and in and, and, and the spirit and, and see 
if this is actually true because you cannot afford to be deceived in these days. You cannot afford to be deceived. America, where I stay, it has judgment coming to them. America has judgment coming to them. So if you love this world, you will impartake of that judgment that's going to come to the world. Okay? So allow um, the Holy Spirit to give you the truth. But the wonderful thing about Ahaya is that he's he's just not this um, power power hungry dictator. Okay, he is righteous, and we know that he's righteous. We know that he's just. Um, but in his reasoning and in his um, his his the the order that he does things, um, he has a a reason for that. So when. Ahia judges this this nation. He has a reason for that. When he tells us to stay away from certain things, there's a reason for that. Um, when when he forbids us from partaking of certain um, traditions and, and and rituals that that um, he didn't establish, there's a reason for that. When he tells us to stay away from sin, there's a reason for that. When he established the rightful place of a man and a woman in the institution of marriage and family there is a reason for that okay so he shows us through his love and through his grace um the reason for his judgments okay and and for what he proclaims as lawful and unlawful so i had this dream in October. So I had a dream similar to this um a while a while back. I had a dream similar to this um that I was speaking about feminism. Okay? And just straight straight up feminism is of Satan's. Feminism is a satanic movement, a satanic antichrist movement and doctrine. Um it does not come from the most high. It is destructive and poisonous in nature. Okay? So when dealing with these issues, Yesiah is not a respecter of persons. The most high is not a respecter of persons. He expects, he has a standard from all of us on how to treat one another and how and and, and engage in behaviors that enable growth and love in life. So I'm just going to get into this dream. So there was a group of women. It was for black women. And it was just odd, but they all were kind of like heavy set. Like they were all kind of heavy set. Okay. For some reason, like they were, they were sitting, they were sitting on a couch. Like, okay. So they were in a room. Um, I'm not sure where or or where the place was. I don't really remember. But they were in a room in a building. Could have been a house. And they were all sitting on this couch. It was four women. And they were facing they were facing another woman. They were facing another woman. She was heavy set too. And she had a newborn baby. And um she, I also believe that her husband was there. Now, I believe this is like symbolic because the husband who was there, you know, he was, he was like a small, like frail man. And he like seeing like, he, like his behavior was like very passive, um, what you would call weak. So he was there with his wife. She was, she was uh, sitting down they were sitting down with each other with the baby and they were facing um the other women in the room who were sitting on a couch they were all on the same couch and they i guess were friends that was the relationship between the married woman and the four single women who were together they were supposed to be friends um but their behavior was kind of like hostile um and they seemed bitter. Like they had this hostile, bitter um, vibe. Okay. All the women seemed to be ganging up on uh, the one woman. Because it seemed like 
all the women there were single and they were mad at the one woman who had a man. And she also had a newborn baby. And the woman was defending herself and her newborn baby. And she wouldn't, like, she wouldn't give the other women the satisfaction of, of giving up or destroying her family. Like, so, yeah, so she, you know, I guess they, they were upset with her for having the family, um, for, for bringing her family. They were very, very upset with her. And... Um, they wanted her to like, like back down and, and apologize and submit to them being upset. But she was like, no, you know, um, and since she wasn't giving in this gang of women, this group of women jumped on her while she had her baby. And I was there. So I forgot I had this dream a while ago. So I was watching this whole situation and I stepped in and tried to help the lady. But these women were relentless. You know, they 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 were acting like animals, okay? And after they were done, this is the part um This is the part that was really disturbing. This is the, the, the part that was really disturbing to me. The baby. Okay. The baby had been torn from limb to limb. That sounds familiar to to what happens during abortion. So I noted that. So after they jumped on her and the baby, some of the women gave the woman um her baby's limbs back. She thanked them for returning them to her. And the lady seemed sad, but also at the same time, it was like she wanted them to feel sorry for her. But I could discern in that moment that she was going to, to deal with these same women. who assaulted her and killed her baby. So, after the fight, I noticed her husband. And it was like, during the fight, he was not there. He was not present at all. So, it had me questioning, you know, was he there in the first place? But it was like he was invisible, like he wasn't even there. And after the fight, he was comforting his wife. Um, and he just really seemed passive and emasculated, emasculine, emasculine. Um, and that was the end of the dream. I guess that's why, I, like, I just wrote it down. I was just like, okay, because that, that dream was, was so disturbing to me. Um, it was so, 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 man, it was very sad and disturbing. Um, I've talked about this in one of my videos before about feminism. And as you can see, this group of women who were masculine, okay, first of all, these were some hostile women. And as women, I have to make it very clear. This culture, especially that's been propagated to my people, have have been so destructive, completely fed us poison. 
in the complete opposite of who we are. Fed us this 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 poisonous um, infection that has plagued our people. First of all, women shouldn't be fighting. We are women. And we shouldn't be behaving in a way that is uncomely as a woman. Fighting, physically fighting, does not make you tough. Fighting does not make you strong. As a woman, that's not our strength. So that has been a huge misconception that you have to you have to get out here and fight like an animal to prove that you're about their life. We don't act in violence. We don't teach our children that it's okay to be violent towards one another. But a lot of masculated women um who are pretty much the role models that we have for our community is out here doing this foolishness and teaching that that's okay. It's not. That's not who we are. That is not who we are. We've been fed this garbage of culture and that's not who we are. And it just makes me so, so sad. These sellouts and these Freemasons propagate this culture to us so we can destroy ourselves. They don't have to do it. We do it to ourselves. This movement of feminism is destructive. It literally destroys people's families and lives, children's lives, marriages. Ahaya is not pleased with it. And the and the emasculine husband that she had did not defend her. Did not set things in the right order as he should do in his rightful place. I'm telling you, judgment is going to come up on this land because it has become lawless. The Bible says, how can the clay look up to the potter and tell the potter what it's going to do? When you go against your ordained purpose and when you refuse to walk in your ordained purpose as a woman, as the vessel that God created when he made you, when he molded you, whether you are a man or a woman, and you refuse to take the rightful place that he has given you, you will receive judgment. And now we are in a land that says men can be women and women can be men. You better believe that this nation is going to be destroyed. All this, um, I come across a lot of videos speaking about uh, transgender rights and gay people's rights and what a man is supposed to be and how a woman is supposed to be. You know, when people talk just from their from their head, the truth is subjective. You don't come to a, a right conclusion. You can go back and forth all day long with all different types of people. But the word of Ahia never changes. It never changes. His word literally tells us what we should do, how we should act, which steps we should take. And his Holy Spirit leads us and guides us every step of the way. Is literally a an inner guide, a, a compass that leads and directs our lives individually, so we can have a a, a life of harmony as a collective. All of these movements, there's there's nothing there's nothing to debate. I don't hate anyone. I I love everyone. This is why I'm telling you the truth. And to those who may be confused about their gender, or you know those who are, are confused about their gender or are going through some things who have been um, bamboozled and lied to by the media, 
I, all these other people, you know, coming up with all these different terms, trying to make it okay and trying to break it. The Bible says you were fearfully and wonderfully made, period. He made you fearfully and wonderfully as a man or as a woman. He makes no mistakes. If you have a problem with that, you need to take that up with him. You need to go to God yourself and spill out everything you're feeling and everything you're going through. Humble yourself before him instead of telling him what you're not going to do. Because I'm telling you, you have the choice to tell him what you're not going to do. But trust me, he's going to let you know in the end where you're going to go. You got that choice. And no, no sin on this planet, no sin in this life is worth going to hell. No, I don't care what nobody say. Nothing is worth going to hell. Nothing is worth going to hell. No lust, no perversion, no belief, no stronghold is worth going to hell. Men cannot be women. Women cannot be men. No. No. That's the truth. And the truth doesn't change no matter how your feelings change. This feminism. And I find it amazing that these women um, pulled the limbs from this baby. And this is what happens during abortion. And guess who's fighting for abortion? Feminists. Fighting to destroy families who goes completely against what the Most High wants. What the Most High says for us. If you do not repent, you're going to receive judgment. And it's not the Most High will that anyone shall perish. It's not His will that anyone shall perish. So he is allowing people to repent because I'm telling you, your door will be open to destruct, to, to, you will be deceived and you will be destroyed. If you do not repent to Messiah the Christ. So as usual, pray about this. I love you, but most importantly, the most high loves you. And until next time, stay blessed. Bye.